this is a new first time for me. I've never done live video before, but I'm hoping that you might appreciate a demonstration on how I beautify my terracotta pots. They make great gifts. People really enjoy them. So first off, you need some paper clay, any kind of paper clay. This is the last of my stock, so I'm gonna use it for this project. And then a mold. So, you have to kind of work the clay for a bit, get it malleable. And this is pretty stiff clay, but you can get all kinds of clay at Michael's or Hobby Lobby that work good and they're a bit moist. It takes some patience just to work it in. You can take a brayer and help smooth it down. Looks like I had just enough clay for this strip. All right, good enough for demonstration purposes. I like this stiffer clay because you can take it out of the mold right away. And it, it gives great detail. So what you'd use is this um, wood glue is great for attaching it. So it'll take a few minutes for it to set up. And you can paint over it pretty quick as soon as the glue dries. But for the sake of time, I've already done a pot with all the trimming on it. So when the, when the uh, clay dries, it leaves cracks. So sometimes it shrinks, obviously. So sometimes I'll have a flower, I'll leave a space permanently on purpose and I'll put a flower in there or something and then you don't notice it so much. But I do have plans for these cracks, so hang in there. All right, and now we'll just start painting. So you can use any type of clay or chalk paint, clay paint, mineral paint. Just be sure and get in the grooves really good. I've never used latex paint on this, so I don't know how that will work. I don't want any of the terracotta showing, so I really get in the crevices. <laughs> All right, and then I do about an inch of the inside. I don't paint the whole thing, but just around the top is all that's needed. All right, that's the first coat. Terracotta, this paint dries pretty fast, especially in a warm house, so. Uh, now onto the second coat. I hardly ever, ever just use one color when I paint something. So now I'm gonna use some white on top to just highlight it. You can highlight the details. All right, second coat done. See how fast it is. 
So again, for the sake of time, I've had a, another one here that's done. So what we do next, what I do next is this, this is artisan powder it's called, and it's black. I have different colors, but I'm gonna use the black for this gray and white pot. And you just wanna take the powder, I guess you can't see that, there we go. Take some of the powder and just put it into the crevices of your mold. and that'll really bring out the details. Move this one out of the way. And then just spritz it with some water. and rub it back with a cloth. And it doesn't matter if you get some of that black on the pot itself, it looks aging, you're aging it. When you wipe it back, you'll see some of the white um, of the clay too. So you're seeing like three different colors. Some more black on the base body of it. All right, good enough. Now, I have this transfer, um, this French decal. That'll make it very French. So place it on your nicest part of the pot that you think looks the best front facing. I think I'll put it right here. Make sure it's fairly straight. and then just rub it off, or rub it on, I should say. Sometimes it takes quite a bit of elbow grease, especially if it's fairly fresh paint. There she is. Doesn't that just add so much to the pot? <laughs> All right, now I like to seal my pots on the outside with wax. It just gives it a really nice look, I feel. wipe the wax back. After you apply wax, you should always buff it. Smooth it out and buff it with a cotton cloth. All right, so what I thought to do with these gaps I have some bling. Don't you think that would look really cool? So let's cut that. And then I use this E6000 glue is really top-notch glue. Anything will stick with it. <laughs> so I just use a little pick, toothpick to apply it. So 
So it looks like it took five of those blings. Count off another five. It doesn't take much glue at all. This glue dries fairly fast, so you kind of have to work pretty fast with it. I love bling, so <laughs> this pot now has bling. All right, good enough. <laughs> uh, so, let me just put my cap on my glue. All right, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you think that you would like to make these pots, I have um, the molds and the um, transfers in my store here if you're local. And if you're not local, I will have an Amazon link for you if you wanna purchase them or not. So tell me where you all are watching from. I would love to know how far this video is reaching. <laughs>